I was at a boot camp class, which is a high intensity exercise class. And mid class, I fell to the ground for a brief second. Thought maybe, um, you know, I wasn't actually sure what happened. The person next to me thought I was tying my shoe. Uh, I looked at my own tracings on the stress test and realized that the segment of my electrocardiogram that is the end portion just didn't look normal and that prompted me to start treatment for something called long QT syndrome. I then had to get my children tested and two of the four children were tested positive. I actually let them live life and you know we, we do things like bring AEDs to sporting events and there's education surrounding what would happen if they faint. Like I have to be like more cautious about some stuff, things that could like jump scare me. I didn't tell much of my friends, I only told like two or three and told them it was just like a mild heart condition. I just told them I can do everything they can do, it doesn't matter. I was in a unique position being a mother, a patient, and a physician and felt like I could very much be an advocate an educator of my peers on how to miss this. How did this go missed in me? We were going to the SAD conference and I met a friend named Abby and she had long QT and she had a pacemaker and a defibrillator. I, we also practiced that in like the little like things. Knowing the families now, because right, I'm patient and mother, so I'm an advocate and I hear all the stories. The ER missed it. The incidence of sudden death in long QT syndrome goes down dramatically when children are treated. Hearing these sobbing mothers who just nearly lost a child or did lose a child and the rest of the children are diagnosed, they just keep their kids in a box. They won't let them play sports, they won't let them out, they won't let them go to sleepovers or ride their bikes or go to camp. They are just thinking that life is absolutely over as they know it. And I feel like I can say no, this is hard, it's scary, but we're here now, let's go forward.